a slightly different topic today. Um, so for those that follow me on my Facebook page, um, know that I've been chatting a little bit over the last couple of weeks about, um, in the UK, our NHS healthcare system, the way that we get treated, especially you know up in the Highlands and stuff. Um, you know, there's a few issues with Dad, the way he got treated, and that dates back to when Mum got diagnosed with cancer. Um, so I put out a video, and we or I got so many messages, um, concerns, people's stories, um, all these different things, and a lot of the the kind of the concerns, a lot of the complaints that people had was like misdiagnosis and not getting. Um, diagnosed for, for cancer mainly um, quick enough so it just uh, like when I go swimming and when I, I kind of I'm in the water and stuff I think a lot about different things and it just things pop in my head and, and you know for me we have a, a public profile and we have a you know a profile out there that people kind of listen to and um, so for me as well as like being a strong man you know we talk a lot about mental health we talk a lot about autism but this this subject is a is a very personal one for me because as I just said you know mum got misdiagnosed with cancer and unfortunately she passed away because of that you know she lost her battle with cancer just like so many other people out there has and for me it's it's really it, it, it's quite depressing you know the, the, the state of the world we live in that you know at the moment and certainly in the UK it's one in two people get affected by cancer um, and I just I can't understand it you know we've just had this global pandemic we all came together we all managed to get tested we got a vaccine we got testing centers put up all over the place so we can get tested within 15 minutes you have it or you don't have it but now you know that that kind of period um, is kind of coming to an end thankfully you know we've all done our bit we've you know and it's, it's, it seems like we're, we're kind of coming out the other side which is great whatever your view is that's fine but for me the, you know, one of the realest things out there is cancer and how many people die of cancer um, and I'm not saying there's a cure I'm not saying to get a cure that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is there must be I know there's tests I know there's there's blood tests there's um, bone marrow tests there's all these different tests that we can do to show up if there's cancerous cells so I have had messages from people that have had these tests done but for whatever reason they're not a common knowledge so say for example if I've got chest pains for an ongoing period of time if I've got pain in my liver my kidney my groin whatever it is like I should be allowed to go and get a test to make sure it's not cancerous you know so rather than just sit back and say there's some painkillers take them why can't we just go and say like it's not cancer get a test you know a 15 minute test I think one of the, a, a guy messaged me saying the test that he did I believe it was for his bone marrow took 10 minutes to do so why can't we then do that test for other people maybe people over the age of 40 or I don't know people under the age of whatever pay for this test so we can I'd happily pay for that test if it was something that I was concerned over and the test was X amount I would happily pay that just to allow me to be safe in the knowledge that I didn't have cancer because again well certainly with mum when we found that mum had cancer it was stage four and it was too late for her and we had to accept that mum was going to die from cancer and that is something that you know when I look back at it it kills me every day you know to think about that that we just had to accept that um, because of a certain um, person's negligence um, and pig-headedness that wouldn't allow mum to be tested so we had to go through private we had to get a CT scan privately and then it showed up all these tumours um, in mum's body you know it was primary primary cancer it was breast cancer and it went to liver to bone I think to spine and to brain and then she passed away so um, as a, a person in a um, a privileged position as I am with a profile like this I feel I need to talk about it more I feel I need to raise awareness I feel to if I don't say anything and if I just like lie down and, and not say anything I'm not doing like mum's memory in any you know I'm not living up to her 
absolutely amazing the person that she was so for me I need to keep talking about it I need to keep creating awareness because up in the Highlands I know it's, we've got a surgery now a, a general pra practice that has changed over to the NHS before that it was run by um, GPs partners whatever and it was absolutely atrocious these 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 people I, I I don't want to call them doctors because to me they're not doctors. They've misdiagnosed so many people in this local community. They should be cut off from whatever register they're on, on and never be allowed to practice um, again because of their this negligence, this malpractice. I think it's absolutely diabolical that someone with that power can carry on um, misdiagnosing people and I don't know what the reason is, I don't know why it is, I don't know why we just get these painkillers, take these painkillers and that's it. We're not getting to the, the, the root cause of the problem. Um, so this all stemmed up from Dad, you know, Dad's been suffering some some new pains in his in his ribs and stuff. He had uh, some different tests and all the rest and um, it, it kind of turned out that the, the blood test that he got in the in the hospital where they bear basic so we have to go through that whole process again so I don't understand like I, I don't understand a lot of things this is why I'm speaking this is why I hope some of you can comment and, and give me the knowledge that I need to be able to kind of argue my case properly and um, you know intellectually with, with these people you know because again these people are smart they've gone to university for however many years I haven't I'm they probably look down on me because I'm just a strong man. I'm just some guy, but this strong man is going to be so vocal about it because the way we've been treated, the way we get treated isn't okay. So you can be as intelligent as you can, but I can guarantee I'm the most passionate person about making a change in this instance. And I won't stop until I'm sitting down with the Scottish Government asking these questions. That's my, you know, I'm wearing this Leave a Legacy t-shirt just now. That's my legacy that I can, I can leave as well. You know, a legacy doesn't have to be you know, winning world's strongest man, it doesn't have to be being famous, being rich, whatever. A legacy that you can leave is just helping one person and I have that ability to do that. So until I'm sitting down with the Scottish Government asking these questions, getting an answer why we can't do this, the NHS get funded, get, get so much charity money, so much money, like hundreds of millions of pounds. Like, I don't understand where it all goes, why we can't just say there's a test you can take to see if you've got cancerous cells in your body. If you have, then what's the next point of call? You know, I get we're busy. I get the NHS is busy. But that's not an excuse to not do your job right. I'm busy. Simon's busy. Gabrielle's busy. My friends are busy. We're all extremely busy at this this time. You know, because if we're not busy, we're not working. We can't afford to live because if everything else is doubling in price at the moment. So saying that something is busy isn't okay you know we need to have solutions rather than just excuses because we've had excuses for so long now oh, it's because of this because of that the last two years has been blah 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 but why can't we just come out the other end you know we're pretty much at rock bottom now i think in in the uk with the way we're getting treated so why can't we come out the other end and try and learn from the mistakes that we've all made we've all made mistakes learn from them and try and push on and try and be better and try and give these people the the care and the respect that you know they are entitled to it's not a privilege to have the nhs we're entitled to it we pay for it it's our money that goes to that nhs you know um and yeah for me it's extremely frustrating so my <laughs> my goal my legacy will be that i want to try and get rid of um, or get this one in two, if we can go back to like one in five people getting affected by cancer, I think we're doing an extremely good job. We need to see some progress and I hope that we can. Um, and if anyone out there is suffering from misdiagnosis, they're going through cancer treatment, they're going through, you know, sadness and hurt in their life, so then, you know, I send you my love. It's, uh, it's a very traumatic time um, watching someone deteriorate that you love, so my heart goes with you all guys i hope you can get through it and yeah comment below and we'll send you some love back anyway well one more thing oh. um, you talk about the processes about getting a cancer treatment mm. 
What is involved? Because you say that the tests are not readily available, like they are like uh, PCR and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, so so with with the, the tests, again, this is my limited knowledge, so to the... The creme de la creme test is getting a CT scan which shows up your tumours or getting um, tissue samples, analyse them, bone marrow which will tell you um, what cancerous cells you have, blood tests is a is an early indication of if something's off. So say you get, I don't know, again I don't really know 100% but say if you get 10 things tested, if there's a couple of them showing up then they could get investigated further. Um, from what I, I know, and I'll probably do another video later on down the line, that doesn't happen, say, if there's only one thing, um, it just gets kind of swept to the side. So I think it has to be a number of things. But this, this is, again, this is what I... Because someone... Because it's one in two people get affected by cancer, it should be kind of... vast. It should be public knowledge of these things. How do we get checked for cancer? What's the steps? Like, at the moment, all I'm seeing is... You get painkillers initially. If they don't work, you might get an X-ray. If that doesn't show up, more painkillers to combat it. If that doesn't work, at work, then you'll do blood test. Then, um, if any of those blood tests show up, then you'll maybe get a CT scan and whatever. You know, so it's not a. This is my issue with with the way the the, the kind of practice of the healthcare systems run. Um, there's not a a set way of doing things. So again, I spoke to uh, one of the managers in the practice uh, last week and she said that different doctors have different opinions on things or different doctors might be more cautious or under-cautious, over-cautious, whatever it is. But I'm, I said to her, I says, well, that shouldn't be the way. It should be a, a defined list of things to look for. So losing weight, you're tired, you're blood in your urine, I don't know, Wh whatever else is, it should be these points that we need to look out for and that is predefined, that's your gospel. So if a doctor sees that and says, right, your mum, what does she, does she have any of these symptoms, any of these signs, these bullet points? Yes, doctor, she does, she has three out of the six. Okay, that's, that's, al that's alarming. Let's get her for a scan, let's get her for a blood test. I don't care about a doctor's opinion. If, if, it's, if it's there, they're there to investigate what's wrong with people. That's it. I, I don't care if your opinion, you don't like me, you don't, I don't, your opinion doesn't matter to, um, to the, <laughs> finding out what's the matter with people. You know, you can look into it, you can investigate it, but if there's a, a if there's a list of specific things to look for, like in any job, you know, it's like, you have to have a list, you can't go on, I mean, I suppose opinion does matter to a certain point on certain situations, but when it comes to cancer, it should be kind of a predefined list of things to look out for. If these things show up, there's a blood test. Or if you're over a certain age, go take a blood test. This this blood test will show up um, things about cancer. But again, this is why I'm starting to speak about it more, because I need more knowledge for me to understand it. Because maybe there is a test, maybe there is a test I can go to my GP and say, you know what doctor, I'm wanting this test because I, I, I pay for the NHS, I pay for you to treat me. So I'm wanting this blood test because I'm worried I've got this pain, I've got this, 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 and then they have to give it to me. So for me, I think knowledge is key. Um, again, I'm just speaking here because I've got so many messages from last week um, and I thought I'd just kind of share my voices, my thoughts, I guess, on the matter. Um, again, it's a little bit different, obviously, from uh, uh, training strongman and stuff, but I'm sure you were still doing that, but it's just trying to raise a bit more awareness on the, the matter, on the this global killer that is continuously killing people and getting worse. You know, we're in such an advanced stage in medicine and in technology, and we still have people dying, getting misdiagnosed, like, mum, it's too late, she's got stage four cancer, she's got six months to live. You know, that's, when someone says that to you, that's not okay. You know, no one, I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy for, for someone to say that to them. So for me, um, I just want to try and, you know, raise awareness and, and try and make a difference. And hopefully 
someone out there will be watching this, someone will be watching one of my videos that I put up and can allow me to speak to the greater powers, you know, all these intelligent people and, and they can educate me in the way of the health system because at the moment I don't really understand why there's so many people dying.